All right, you guys, so I finally feel like we're to a point where I can show you the progress and what all's been done in here, and I'm gonna walk you through a little tour. So here is the kitchen area. This is the refrigerator, and this was a white color, and we actually took a appliance epoxy and spray painted the outside of it. It's a pretty good size refrigerator for in here. I'm super happy with it. And then I also have access to um, another freezer and stuff like that to store food not in here so that'll be great and above here is the microwave and since this stuff was black I decided to go ahead and just make the refrigerator black as well so it's got a nice little range hood here and this actually already had a cover on it there is little touches in here you guys are gonna see that are not finished I'll show you so we're still in a little bit of progress but very like livable and all of that so I got this cutting board at Ikea it actually has a lip on here and this does have a cover you can see it kind of sticking out that goes over the range hood but I just loved the idea of bringing warmth of a wood piece in here so because the cover has these two little things that stick up to prop the cover up when you open it up I went ahead and drilled holes in this so that it latches right on there and then when if we're moving this um, we can also not worry about it like sliding around and everything like that it does have an oven it's not huge but it's definitely workable and um, I'm just so thankful for all of it I love absolutely everything in here I don't have any complaints about everything so up here you can see that I painted everything and down here as well this little thing I'm gonna insert footage here my brother actually helped me so this little drawer set is from Ikea and funny story so this actually was like paneled off I'm not sure if I have I know I have a before picture of exactly how it looked but basically it was like an empty box in there which is absolutely ridiculous in a tiny house space you want to use every inch of everything that you can um, so my mom and I did like a spur of the moment Ikea run and we saw this and I was like I'm just gonna buy it and see if it fits I am not kidding if this thing was like a half inch a quarter inch bigger it would have never fit in there <laughs> so it worked out perfect and it's a ton of storage and we'll be getting to all of the ways I'm using up my small space storage I'm so excited to share with you I have had a blast planning out storage in this house so up here is um, again more cabinet space this little end thing I think I took a clip um, of this but it was kind of like I don't know very dated looking it had rounded edges so I just framed it out and then painted it and over here we've got drawer space that is awesome I love this little built-in thingy right here I'm definitely definitely gonna be decorating there and having some fun with that the countertops I want to mention about the countertops before we move on so you can see that I used contact paper on them um, if you guys remember I've used this before in projects but to be honest with you because the countertops previously were rounded and I added a lip onto it. It was like one of the biggest projects in this whole thing was adding the lip to this to make it look square. Um, since I did that, it just, the count, the contact paper does not want to lay flat. So I think I'm going to have my brother help me and we have another idea for these countertops. So in the next couple months, probably after Christmas, um, we're going to tackle a little project on how to redo some countertops. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about that. Um, okay, so moving on, this side of the cabinets, this here is another unfinished space that you can see that needs to be taken care of. Um, so this side of the cabinets, again, big pieces of paneling, but no cabinets to get into this side of it. So basically, you could reach it from that side, but it was just this huge cabinet that was really wasted space. So I added these two doors from this, and I'll talk about that in a second, over here so we have access from this side so I can maximize my space in here. So on this side, I want to talk about the backsplash because it does go the whole way across. And like I mentioned earlier, I am going to be linking everything. This is from Amazon and I love it so much. It was such a hard decision of what backsplash to put in here, but I decided to go with a 
subway tile with white grout just because I didn't want anything too busy since it is a smaller space and I love how it turned out. It's super wipeable. I mean, it really looks great. My brothers that put in tile all the time came in here and they were like, that's not real. <laughs> so you know that it's really, really a very good dupe, I guess, if you want to call it that for real tile. So this little corner space was a TV unit kind of area obviously for older TVs where they were like huge into the back and I was like this is crazy I need more counter space let's just bring this to countertop height so I actually brought it up and it does match the countertop height on this side I wrapped it in the same kind of um, contact paper. This actually, I think, turned out better than that one did. On camera, it actually doesn't look too bad, but in person, it's a little rough looking. Um, so anyways, brought this up, and now I have a nice little counter space here. And then another thing we did is this didn't have an electrical plug, so except for up here. So we actually plugged in up there, and then my dad put this um, piece of trim in the back. And so there's a little hole that goes down in underneath and behind these baskets. Um, you can see that there is like a bunch of plugs. So I can put like my Instapot up here. I can do a lot of cooking and really be able to utilize um, having some multiple plugs. So obviously this is going to be like my coffee bar corner. I did buy little black brackets to put a shelf up here. But my mom and I were sitting in here last night and I was like, I just don't think I want to put a shelf up here. So... To be determined, let me know your opinions in the comments. Then this was such a score. So I actually just found these baskets at Target and they fit in there like so perfectly. With this being such an awkward shape, it was really difficult to find um, baskets that fit. So, and I'm sure it'll be a fun, like, decor piece that I can switch out every once in a while, find new baskets, that kind of thing. Super happy with those. And then down here is some more storage. Um, again, I'll be sharing all of that later on. So, you have the door right here that comes in. Over here is my room. And um, there is a pocket door here. I do have a big handle that I can put on there that I got. It's black. It looks really cute. But again, there are some things that are not quite finished and that's totally okay. So in here, there was two cabinets, one on either side here that I actually demoed out. And I'm so happy I did because I wanna put plants up there. I'm so excited next week to share all of my decor. That's gonna be the next video. You guys are gonna see how I decorate everything and put everything together. I'm just so thrilled with it. Also, the handles that you see everywhere were a super, super, super great Amazon find. Um, they were so insanely cheap. If you guys have ever looked at hardware, you know how expensive they can be. And these were very inexpensive. I think I got a box of 30. And this is a memory foam mattress. I'm really loving it. We have slept in here uh, one or two nights now. And it really is comfortable and great. These drawers are super great. Having this space is great too. And a lot of you might be wondering how in the world I am going to have my clothes in here. Well, there is a ton of storage under this bed and it lifts up. Again, we'll be showing all of that later, but it works out perfectly. This is my bedroom. Another thing I really love about this RV is this pocket door because I can close this at night, have a light on, be reading and everything like that, and I'm not bothering the girls on the other end, which we'll get to in a little bit. So over here, this space I have plans for I have a nice little furniture piece that's going to go here that's super narrow and will work out perfect and then up here we're actually going to be putting a tv with an arm so it can be slid back in or we can reach it out and watch it over here so this side of this whole house I think was the most demoed the most like rigorous as far as thinking through how in the world we were going to make everything work so there was originally a disgusting old pull-out couch thing that weighed five million pounds no joke it was so heavy crazy heavy and no storage with it it just literally was the biggest waste of space ever so um we decided to go ahead and put a built-in here this thing has so much storage underneath of it I'm so happy with it. And then the cushion that's on it is actually from a bunk I removed in the back, which we'll get to. Um, so I've got 
pillow covers and more pillows and throw blankets and a cover for the cushion all coming from Amazon. Amazon is going to be like on our doorstep constantly in the next uh, week or so because I've got so much stuff ordered. Um, also like um, window shades and just so many things I can't wait to share with you. Um, so this is just perfect. The other thing that's really great about this is if the girls have a friend over for a sleepover, they can easily sleep on this because it is like the length of a entire bunk. It's very comfortable. I'm somebody that likes to curl up when I sit. So you can sit way back in. And then one of the things that that I really wanted when my dad and I were talking about how we were going to construct all of this um, was a backrest here because I said especially if the TV is up here um, I want something I can lean against here and not only that but it just brings a cozier feel to all of this and so um, so that's what we went ahead and did then this situation oh my goodness so I went ahead and started taking apart the booth and found out it was super brittle it was really disgusting and we needed this flooring to all go out all of the old carpet we needed everything to be able to be removed we went ahead and made the decision to totally scrap the booth which i'm really glad we did because we wouldn't have had enough room to do a nice big sofa area over here and then i went and found this table on wayfair and it was a pretty good price and it fit in here, as you can see, completely perfect. The other thing that's super great about this is I can also pull it out and actually use it as kind of like an island and cook here. So I absolutely love the versatility of being able to do that. Also, these benches do fit underneath of the table, so it can be slid in, um, they can flip up and be put on top of it. And then if we're moving, I can put the, like just a quilt or something on the floor, flip it all over and it does just fine riding along. This paneling is so cute. I was so happy with it. My dad um, found it at Lowe's and he said that they were kind of slim on options and just kind of brought me this and was like, what do you think of this? And I'm like, that's perfect, I love it. So um, yeah, so this is a really great, thought through usable space for us. Before we move to the other end, I thought I would just give you kind of an overview and it's really a lot of space. While we were doing this renovation, the girls and I actually stayed in a RV that my parents have um, that's a lot smaller than this. And I actually had the choice between doing this one or the other one and this was just such a winner. It's the perfect amount of space for us and it works out absolutely great. Okay, moving from the main area to this end. So this is the girl's end of our little house. This here is actually my pantry. Um, again, can't wait to show you what all I'm doing in there. And then this part of it is, I don't know, it took me a little bit to get kind of used to. I want to change out that light switch and make it black. Um, <laughs> but this is the sink and the vanity area for the bathroom. Um, and I have a round mirror that I'm hanging up in here. I'm, I really can't wait to get that hung up. It's going to be so cute. Um, but then this side is like actually the bathroom. So this handle, I decided since I have one doorknob in the whole thing, I'm going to make it one of the ones that I think is really nice. It was a little bit of a splurge. We really try to stay on budget. I will be linking this in like my faucet and um, the different hardware that I've been using. So this is probably one of the more unfinished spaces. Um, I need to get some of the paint off of these. So these are like little rods where you can hang towels or whatever. And then in here is the bathroom area, the shower. I have a super cute shower curtain for in here. And actually this tub space is pretty large for an RV. Um, which I was really happy about, especially with the girls at the age that they are, or just simply washing something up. I can easily do it in here. And then the tile that you see down here, um, was another Amazon find just to bring a little pop of color to this area. And I'm not sure what I want to do with the wall space in here yet. So stay tuned and I'll get that all figured out. So that's like the little bathroom area again across from here. And then this is the girls area and I am not kidding. They have just been loving this. I actually just ordered their bedding this morning. Um, so like I said earlier, I took a bunk out. So this was a bunk on this side, just like on this side and I took it out 
and made a little space for them to have like toy storage and um, I think I want to get some like right now they just have a few toys in here but I think I want here I'm going to go around this side so you guys can see um, I think that I want to get some like little cute little pillows and kind of make this a spot that they can sit in here. Not exactly sure what all I want to do yet. And as you can see back here again with the storage is huge. This thing is really big on the inside. They have nice two nice big drawers. This here opens up and actually on the end you can't see it from here but you can access a lot of storage under this as well. So loads and loads of storage um, and then we are working at some ideas of how to personalize the girls bunks so they each have like their own room. They actually call them their rooms so they <laughs> love this um, and also like teaching them little things like this is actually a fire escape door and so is this window so if there was ever an issue we te we're teaching them how to use that. Um, and yeah, it's just a perfect little spot. One thing I did do is I did get a tension rod and some curtains here that they can't see through because at night if I'm out here like washing dishes or, you know, any of that kind of stuff, they're kind of like, mom, what are you doing? So it kind of gives me a little barrier and I can put a sound machine on and they're in their own little end back here. So this ladder, I would love to hear your votes on this ladder. I am almost wanting it to leave it the color that it is and just put a clear coat on it. I love it, but there's a part of me that's also like, maybe I should make it black. I'm not sure. I know I definitely do not want it white. I've had bunk beds that were white before and the latter just honestly got so disgusting from them crawling up all the time. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. But this is this end off of like where the kitchen is on this side and then where the seating is on this side. Mm -hmm. 